All right, reflections and symmetry. Reflections are mirror images across a line or point. They are flipped without changing their size or shape. The pre-image is the original image. The image is a reflected image. When reflected using the coordinate plane, I want you to take notice of how the X and the Y change. Down here at the bottom, the pre-image would be this image right here. That would be that coordinate, X, Y. The image is the one that we changed, and that one's down here in pink. Notice that there's this little quotation or apostrophe mark there. That just notes that that's the new image. When you reflect an image across the X axis, the X value does not change. However, the Y value becomes a negative. When you reflect an image across the Y axis, the X value changes sign and the Y value stays the same, okay? Now, when we um, reflect across the Y equals X, which is this line right here that's kind of goes straight through the middle, the X and Y values flip-flop. The X becomes the Y and the Y becomes the X. So let's look at a couple examples here. So what we started with was this image that I'm highlighting in yellow. Point D was 1, negative 2. Point E was, is 3, negative 2. And F is 3, 2. So this example did a couple of different things. It's flipped... Um, across the y-axis and so when that happens we need to change the sign of our x value so see how all of these x values they change their sign and then if we notice the y values they've stayed the same Um, there's three kinds of symmetry that we're going to learn about. Oh, there's a typo. That should be learn about. There's line symmetry, rotational symmetry, and point symmetry. Um, a figure has line symmetry if there is a line that divides the figure into mirror images. So it's kind of like it folds on itself. Um, the most classical example is the butterfly wings. A figure has rotational symmetry if when you rotate it around, it looks the same. Now, if you rotate anything around far enough, it's going to look the same. So, notice the little stipulation here. Less than 360 degrees. So, if I take an object and I rotate it 180 degrees, does it still look the same? If it does, then it has rotational symmetry. Point symmetry, if the object that you're rotating looks the same upside down, or if you rotate it 180 degrees. Now, these might seem a little bit confusing until you're actually doing some examples. So here's some examples of line symmetry. When I draw a line through the word mom, I could fold it on that line and it would be the same thing on both sides. Right here's B. If I fold it on that line, on that red line, it's symmetrical. It'll be the same thing on both sides. Now, if I were to cut B with that blue line, that would not be symmetrical. So it does make a difference where you're putting your line on your objects in order for them to have line symmetry. And if you look at the X, it's got line symmetry in a couple of different ways. So sometimes that happens. Noticing the square and my little star 
those have several different lines of symmetry. So I think there's an IXL where you have to draw lines of symmetry, and sometimes those images have more than one line. So you've got to make sure you get all of those lines covered. Point symmetry. So here's point symmetry. If I were to take these lines and rotate them, they're going to look the same. Um, I would rotate them around those points and it would look the same. Now, here's a quick video that I want you to go and watch. I go, it talks through some more lines of symmetry. I'm not going to play it in this video, but um, I do want you to take a look at that one.